achieved with source. Welcome to watching Paint Dry, the game. In this game, you sit and watch Paint Dry in real time. Feel free to interact with the objects in the room, but do not touch the wall until it is dry. Have fun. You have touched the wall. The wall was not dry. You fail. Welcome to watching paint dry. You seem to have jumped across dimensions and transcended into the wrong game by flushing the toilet. I'll be honest with you, I've never seen somebody do that before, but let's get back on track. I'll send you back to the menu.
protocol CHAI are initiated, detonating nuclear warheads in T minus 15 seconds. Okay, I've been keeping quiet while you've been doing this because I wanted to see how far you would go, but why is your first instinct when you see a red button is press it without thinking of the consequences? You know what? How about we teleport back to the top layer and just look at what you just did? Wow, this is even worse than I thought it would be. I thought it would be more like a blaze of nuclear glory, but this is just depressing. At least the paint still looks good. Anyway, enjoy nuclear fallout. I'm leaving. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley would... Hold on. You're not Stanley. Who are you? Well, never mind then. We'll just pretend that you're Stanley then. Alright, carry on. Welcome to Watching Paint Dry, the game. In this game, you sit and watch paint dry. In real time. Feel free to interact with the objects in the room, but do not touch the wall until it is dry. What a peculiar game, Stanley thought to himself. Surely there must be more to it. The thought itched at him until he garnered the courage to step through the door behind him. When Stanley arrived at the kitchen, he took a ride down the hallway and up the stairs. At the end of the hallway stood a door. Behind the door was a very strange room. There was a button on the wall. Stanley didn't think twice before doing what he does best. He pushed a button. Welcome to Watching Painted. Stanley and Step decided that his eating disorder was more important than the story, and he stepped inside the fridge. Hello, welcome to my house. This is where I sit and watch you watch paint dry. Feel free to look around 
and if you want to go back up to the top layer just press that button on the wall. Have fun. What did you just do? Wait. I know what you ha 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 Hello, I'm Foxy. You have awakened me from my slumber and I have come to eradicate your world. You pressed the suspicious looking button on the wall and now I'm free. You fool. There was a warning right above it. How did you not see it? Anyway, because you owe me, I shall return the favor by allowing you 30 extra seconds to live before I completely erase this world. You might want to enjoy what's left of the game while you still can, because there is nothing you can do to stop me. I am the god of this world, and soon all others. Bonzi! Interact with I didn't even get to finish talking, and you already touched the wall. You come into a game called watching paint dry, and you don't even have the patience to wait for longer than 30 seconds. You know what? How about we go into something even more monotonous instead? Maybe you'll like that better. Welcome to watching grass grow. The game. In this game, you sit, and watch grass grow, in real time. You don't get to mess with any physics objects though, because you didn't have the patience to just let me talk. Hope you have fun here. Bye. Okay, you're back. I don't quite know what happened, but a couple hours ago you jumped into that energy ball and vanished. You didn't even leave a trace, just... poof. Well, you're back now, so I guess that's what matters. You have touched the wall. The wall was... Dry. You win. Congratulations. You've 
just created a paradox. Anything that touches the paint is supposed to get removed from existence. Since I just touched the paint, I have to remove myself from existence. There's a problem, however. If I remove myself from existence, I won't be in existence anymore. But, if I'm not in existence anymore, I won't be here to remove myself from existence again later, therefore, I didn't remove myself from existence. But if I'm still in existence, then I will have been here to touch the paint can, therefore I get removed from existence. But if I get removed from existence, I wouldn't be here to remove myself from existence later, therefore I don't get removed from existence. Four dimensional time is weird. If I exist in all times and possibilities at once, there will always be one where I don't get removed from existence, because I never touched the paint can in at least one of them, because it's infinite. Therefore there will always be one of me in existence. Wait, so if I don't get removed from existence, then I would get removed from existence because I would be here to remove myself from existence. But if I'm already there to remove myself from existence... Back and forth about whether or not I should get removed from existence. That would be quick too, I In real time, feel free to interact with Hello! It's me! Mario! Oh! Nice computer you got here! Can I have it? One... Two... 